Okay. Charlie is just this absolutely amazing person. He's so much fun to be around and everyone that meets him just instantly falls in love with him. You know, no one ever speaks ill of Charlie. They all just enjoy being around him. So that was one of the things that originally attracted me to him. And since I've really gotten to know him, it's just grown so much over the years. And that's the type of person he is. He's just, he's fun and he's caring and loving and he's just a really good man. So tell me how you guys met. We met at Patty's after a wedding. I was out with one of my girlfriends and he was there with some of his best guy friends and he actually uh, approached me on the dance floor. So it was a really good night. And um, so once you guys started kind of dating, going out, what was it about him that made you see something in him and maybe you think that he was the one? Made me think that he was the one. Um, you know, there were just so many components that fit really well between our personalities because they were both very independent but we work very well together and he's not afraid to call me out on my stuff which guys in the past hadn't done so it was just really awesome that he would just be like Rachel uh-uh you know and it's good for me and he brings me out of my shell which is awesome because it complements my personality very well and I compliment his personality and I'll call him on his stuff so we just work very well together in that regard and in terms of other things I saw in him you know he's just a very hard worker and he comes from this amazing family so I think just bringing being brought up in Arizona and you know having the background that we shared of having all these shared interests such as swimming and Arizona and a love of family, it really brought that connection that much closer between us. And so the night you met, what was your first impression of him? <laughs> um, I just thought he was just this very over-the-top personality and he was a lot of fun to be around. Um, so I think that was my first impression of him. And so now that you guys have kind of been together for a while, how has your outlook on him changed since you're the first time you met <laughs> He's still this very over-the-top personality and so much fun to be around. Um, but I think I realize so much more where that personality comes from. And he does have this very calm energy at times, but most of the time he's like, all over the place and where I'm very level he's dee -dee 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 -dee. so <laughs> it's good we definitely balance each other out in that regard and so tell me about the proposal that all oh my gosh the proposal was just absolutely perfect he proposed in Coronado which is one of our favorite vacation spots at sunset and he actually had asked my parents uh, for my hand a few months in advance. And so he had them in on the surprise, and he had his parents in on the surprise as well. So right after he proposed, we went to dinner, um, and my parents and his parents were both there. So it was even more of a surprise when we walked in, and, you know, it was a great celebration weekend. What, what was your reaction? Did you see it coming at all? I didn't. I was very surprised. He definitely pulled one over on me, which was amazing. So, um, what are you most looking forward to today? Forward to today? Um, I just love the feeling around us. There's so much love and there's so much support around us. So, it's, I just feel very blessed and very honored to be around so many amazing people and to be marrying such an amazing man. And so, you guys are starting your life together today basically, what are you looking forward to most? What you, wishes do you have for your future together? What wishes do I have for our future together? You know, I'm just, I'm really excited to share in this journey with him. And I'm really excited to see where our life leads us. You know, he is just such an incredible person and he has so much going for him. So I think you know, we're going to do great things, and I'm excited to see all the adventures we'll go on together. And um, when you think about him, how does he make you feel? I 
always have a smile when I talk about Charlotte, you know. Even, even if he drives me crazy, but I have a smile thinking about him because I can never stay mad at him or anything like that just because he makes me laugh so much. So it's a very good thing, you know. I, I love the fact that he's always making me smile or laugh or doing something hilarious that I have to tell my girlfriends about or my parents about. So he's and, very funny. Okay, so last question. What do you think your definition of love is? Oh, I don't know what I would say my definition of love is. I think it's, you know, finding somebody that you truly mesh with and that knows your flaws and you know theirs and you still truly just want to spend your life getting to know that person and loving that person regardless and you know making each other the best that they can possibly be okay. so that's what I would say um, I actually got one more question okay during your first look what was going through your mind how did you react seeing him for the first time today I just thought wow this is it here we go and Let's do this. <laughs> so that was kind of what was going through my head. Uh, I'm excited. Um, a little bit nervous, but not, uh, not bad. I'm excited. Um, tell me, how do you think you'll feel when you see them on the other side of the aisle? Um, probably excited. Yeah. <laughs> Um, what will you be looking for in her face, like while you're walking down the aisle? What, what's that reaction that you want to see from her? I think she'll be excited. I think she'll be bright-eyed and smiling ear to ear, and I think I will too. Okay. Um, tell me what you love about her. I love her kindness, her sweetness, her energy, how organized she is, how hardworking she is, how much fun she is. Of her family. Um, and how does she make you feel? She calms me down, puts me at ease, um, and she's always kind and nice and very sweet to me. Um, what does she do to like calm you down? Like, give me a scenario or something. I'm very high high energy, and I don't sit still. I don't sit down, and she just naturally brings me down and calms me down and puts me at ease. Um, what do you hope for the future together? I hope for a long, happy marriage together. I know we'll have our ups and downs, but I hope we have a long, happy marriage. Okay. And uh, as your relationship progressed, what qualities did you see in her that made you fall in love with her? Um, the fact that she's from Phoenix, doesn't want to move. Um, I can see that she's very well grounded um, and loves family. Um, loves my family and I love her family um, and I think the more time we spent together the more I saw how well we just fit together perfectly. Do you, tell me about when you like first met her. Like um, like when we first met, we first met at Patty's Bar um, and we talked for a little while and I got her number and I called her the next day and we set up a date for a week and a half later we were working totally opposite schedules. I was working at 4 a.m. and she works late evenings. So the first few weeks and months of dating were difficult because we were on such opposite schedules, but we made it work. We both wanted to see each other, so. And then, so tell me about your first date after you initially met her. What did you guys do for your first date? First date, we went to the Tortilla Factory in Old Town okay. and had a couple of drinks on the patio. And I cut it short. I think I had to be at work at 4 a.m. next morning. So the date was over by like 7 p.m. and I think she was like, thought I was trying to get out of there too soon and not want to be there with her, but that wasn't the case. Okay. Do you have any other questions? How did you propose? Um, on the beach in Coronado Island, we, I had talked to her parents ahead of time, um, a few months ahead of time, uh, got their permission and bought the ring and planned a vacation in Coronado with our good friends Nick and Pele. And my parents and her parents <clears throat> were in on the proposal, so I had them uh, drive over to Coronado separately. Rachel didn't know they were there, and I popped the question on the beach, and then we walked to dinner at the Hotel Dell, and both our parents were there. Cool. Who said I love you first, and how did that come about? 
I said I love you when we were in Denver, Colorado, um, on the grass outside CSU. How did she respond? Um, with I love you too. And what about, <laughs> sorry, and uh, we didn't ask this, but how did she react to your proposal? She... Um, I think she was overwhelmed with emotion. And she and we had talked about doing it later in the year, like in December. And the fact that I did it in June surprised her, so she was caught off guard. Oh wait, the relationship is almost three years old, I is believe. It? And um, in the course of those three years, Charles has oh, blossomed. He has become more patient, more um, relaxed. He has, has really, um, obviously, Rachel is the love of his life. He has matured in his relationship. And uh, I feel like we're really blessed that she came into his life. Mm -hmm. um, why do you think they're good for each other? Well, I, th I think they really complement each other. I, I think Rachel's uh, s uh, sweet, calm demeanor, her easy, uh, going manner is just compliments Charlie's high energy, uh, sort of uh, high expectation or driven uh, personality, and so they really uh, balance each other out very well. And their interests are so compatible. It's incredible how compatible they are in, in their in their likes and dislikes. Do you have anything to add to that? Uh, all the way down to the dog. They both love dogs. Yeah. Go with like, when did he tell you about the proposal? You guys can tell about the proposal dinner. Just oh. one second. That, that's not what I have. Could you put your hand over the one? Yeah. Thank you. Okay. I'll let you have that one, Bunny. Sorry, I'm. There you go. Okay. Perfect. The question again was. Yes. So when did he tell you about the proposal or when he was going to propose and then the Coronado dinner, how did that come up and all that good stuff? Oh. Well, he told us about, uh, oh golly, three months prior that he was going to propose, which we were so relieved about because we thought he might miss the boat on this, mm -hmm. on Rachel, but um, he um, unfortunately wanted to put it off until he could get to Coronado in June and propose at the beach. So we had to keep the secret. I don't, I th think maybe I told my sister and that was all, the only person I told. We did meet the Bells for the very first time and th we had, they had to keep the same secret. So we were together with Rachel and Char, but we couldn't let on to the fact that we knew that he was going to propose. So that was a, a challenge. But once it finally happened, it was wonderful. We had a great time in Coronado, and uh, I thought it was very, very sweet of him. Do you have anything to add to No. Me? No? Okay. Um, what are you looking for um, to most today, or to most today? Uh, well, I, I'm just, I just am blessed that the wedding is taking place in a church in a holy setting and that a priest, an ordained priest uh, or an ordained pastor is performing the service and I'm uh, uh, excited f and pleased that they're uh, getting married. I think they're going to be a great couple and I feel, we feel blessed to uh, uh, bring Rachel into the family and, and also her parents and we're happy for Charlie. Uh, that he's met Rachel. So we're looking forward to a real uh, nice ceremony and nice day. Anything you're looking forward to, Mel? Just a very happy occasion. Um, what advice do you have for the couple? Well, have fun uh, is my advice. I, I think you have to have balance in your life and balance in your marriage. And mm -hmm. don't, don't take life too seriously. And enjoy yourselves and enjoy your life as a couple. And, uh, and make your home your palace. 
that's, that's where your family life is, and it doesn't have to be big, it doesn't have to be fancy, but it's your sanctuary and your palace, and, and uh, where you, you will set the tone for your family. Mm -hmm. Do you have any advice? My advice would be to put the Lord first in their life, and their family uh, second, and their work third, and, uh, and the home is, the, is, their cow, is their castle. Anything else that you guys would like to say to them? Anything you guys want to talk about? I just want to say, Rachel, we are thrilled to have you in our family. And um, just feel so blessed that, that you and Charlie cross paths and at Patty's. Uh, <laughs> I wish we had met at church, but that's okay. <laughs> at least you found each other. Yeah. Fantastic. Super. Excited. Good. Just wonderful. Good. Um, can you remember and tell me the first time you started hearing about Charlie? Yes, we started hearing about him um, when she thought it was really something that he had found her on Facebook. <laughs> That's when I remember. Uh, I, I remember, I'm thinking it's and towards there, the, the quarter, mid, 2000, late 2012, and she wanted to bring some over to, someone over to the house, and which was unusual for her have, after she moved back here. And thinking, all right, uh, what, what's you know, what's this all about? And meeting Charlie for the first time at the house. And all right. Um, you're, you're good. Um, you okay. Right. Please. How did you see your daughter um, change as the relationship progressed? She was uh, more vibrant, um, more um, excited about things. Um, she's such a professional anyway, but she just seemed more alive maybe. I don't know. That's what I'm thinking. Generally happier. I mean, she's always, yes. she's always been happier, but uh, noticeably happier um, and um, not as hairy. You know, suddenly there was this sense of she was calmer, a bit calmer uh, in overall. Um, and that was really what tipped me off that uh, Charlie was someone special. Um, why do you think they are good for each other? Oh, you can see it in their eyes, in their faces. Go ahead. She, she lights up around. Yeah. I love that. Mm -hmm. um, tell me about the proposal. Like, did you guys know it was yeah. coming? <laughs> what happened? I heard about a dinner. Maybe talk about that. That was wonderful in that um, he asked if he could take us out to lunch, would meet us for lunch. And we went to Hillstone, and I had told David before, I said, I, I'm pretty sure Charlie's going to ask yep. for her hand in marriage. He said, you think so? I said, yes, I really, mm -hmm. why else? <laughs> so the thing about that is that he was so pale, sitting at the end of the room, <laughs> just kind of why? waiting for us. <laughs> yes. And, uh, you could tell he was nervous. <laughs> mm -hmm. And the thing about that is that he told me I couldn't tell anybody, not even our other daughter, anybody, for almost two months. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was the end of April, so May, the end of June. Two, two months. And at the end of it, at the, that meeting, he swore us to secrecy because of the plan that he told us about. But I didn't help him. Uh, in, in the in asking the question because he asked us and I changed the subject and just started talking about other things and I think if my wife could have been kicking me under the table she would have been kicking oh. me under the table oh yes uh, and this went on for about 20 30 minutes and finally Charlie circled around and said mr. Bell you haven't asked me, answered my question <laughs> I said, well Charlie of course of course you could marry Rachel and that's when he told us when you when you because your question was about the proposal uh that's when he told us that he wanted to include us in the proposal 
Uh, he planned that he was good, they were going to go to Coronado Island, which was special to them, uh, about the third week of June last year. Uh, that uh, what he wanted to do was have his parents there, have us there. He was going to propose to Rachel on the beach and then bring her back into the Hotel Dell, and we would there be there waiting to surprise them. So we had to keep this all under wraps. And therein also, when you get back to why they're good for each other, I mean, this so impressed me how family oriented and he is and wanted to include us in something like this. And, um, it and was his parents too. Yes. Uh, and it was all very, very special. Yeah. Very, very cool. Um, let's see. This is for you. How did you feel walking her down the aisle? Um, first of all, it took my breath away uh, to, to, to stand there um, uh, before uh, going down the aisle and it was, I felt very lucky to have those few minutes, just the two of us, and I could just stand there and look at her and admire her and think about what a beautiful woman she was and so that was a very, very special moment. Um, and then walking down the actually walking down the aisle and seeing everybody. Um, just, it was, you know, one of the happier moments of my life. Um, what are you looking forward to most today? Uh, boy. Uh, you know, it's so nice to have our friends and family be here to support them in their, their new life together. Yeah. Um, and just seeing how happy they are. They're just so happy. And it's just a, a, almost a revelation just to see how suited they are for each other. Yeah. And one more question. What advice do you have for the couple? Patience. Yes. Patience. <laughs> um, communication. A lot of communication and tenderness and love and listening, a good ear. Is there anything else you want to add? What do you hope to see in the future of Rachel and Charlie? Charlie, You can still look at her while you answer. Long, long lives together, happily, uh, uh, showing as much happiness throughout their lives as you know, we've enjoyed with them uh, during their engagement and particularly these last few days. Um, the blessing of children, um, looking forward to more grandkids. Um, I think I, I, I definitely like to see them continue in their faith together and their faith um, with God and their faith with each other um, in the joy of just getting to know each other and be together and love each other. You know, of course, yeah. I'd love grandchildren too. But whatever, it's their decision, so it's great, yeah. So hopeful, you know, and joyful for Rachel and Charlie. Just, I am so excited about their future. Okay. Um, when was the first time you started hearing about Charlie? That, that, yes, that's okay. Right. <laughs> no. <laughs> you get a second. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, was getting her, I was getting her questionnaire. It's easier for me to oh, move down. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay, good. Uh, I started hearing about Charlie the first time Rachel met him, actually. Um, I remember their first meeting and kind of how she met this guy. He was a little different. He kept pursuing her immediately after. And um, so I, and then there were just additional dates. I didn't meet him till a little bit later, but cool. right away. Mm -hmm. And tell me about the first time you met him. Oh, the first time I met Charlie, um, he was wearing uh, pants, like docker pants and a bright pink shirt. And he had the most charismatic smile on his face and he was just on cloud nine. And he seemed nervous, you could kind of tell that he was. Um, but immediately when I saw them together, I just, I kind of knew that this was something really special for them. Um, how did you see your sister change as the relationship progressed? She lightened up. I think, um, Rachel has always been very focused 
and she's kind of a little bit of a worry wart, which is all of us, I think. And with Charlie, he just would tell jokes and she would laugh even when she didn't want to laugh. And she would just lighten when he was in her presence. Mm -hmm. um, why do you think they're good for each other? I think they are compliments to each other. I think Rachel um, has that drive uh, and that focus, but she also lightens Charlie, where Charlie is too maybe focused on certain things. Rachel's not necessarily focused on the same, so they really balance each other, and they bring out the best in each other. I think you can see that. We've been hearing that a lot today. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, did you know the proposal was coming? No, I was actually kept in the dark. I did not find out about the proposal um, until after it happened. Um, so I knew that he, I, I didn't find out until he, he had proposed, actually, um, that they were even going to Coronado or that he had asked my parents for, his, for her hand. So, mm -hmm. um, let's see. When, how did they tell you about the proposal? Uh, they called me. Rachel called me from Coronado and um, just said, you're never going to believe this, but, you know, Charlie proposed and the entire family is in San Diego. And so that was... That's special. Yes, it was. Um, this is a good one. How uh -huh. did you feel when you saw her in her dress today? Oh, I think my heart skipped a couple beats, actually, because seeing her before and in the fitting room in the dress, it's, it's still surreal, um, but you're in a very kind of controlled setting, and you know that you're going to give her, you know, your honest opinion, and seeing her in it today just took my breath away, so... What advice do you have for the couple? Um, my advice to them would be to always put each other first. Um, I think life gets so busy and it's so easy to put other priorities, um, even your children, in front of each other. And so I feel like for them to continue to put each other first and enjoy each other and just laugh when life gets the craziest, just sit back and laugh and spend that time together. Um, you can still talk yeah. to her. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Why you ask yes. me some? Yeah. yeah. Um, what is your fondest memory with Rachel from your childhood? Oh, well, let's see. I was 10 when Rachel was born. So um, just probably seeing her as a baby and um, watching her play and laugh. Um, and then just, you know, getting to know her as an adult. I think that was probably my fondest because there were 10 years between us. So knowing her, um, I was always much older. So getting to see her as an adult was just amazing. You know? So. <laughs> I'll take this one. Uh, so the night we first met, uh, well, Charlie and I went out and just were expecting to have a good time like always. and. Um, we went to Patty's, and uh, there's this beautiful girl in a, in a red dress. And so, of course, I'm the one who, who is the instigator, and I'll, you know, ask the girl out to a first dance. So I saw this beautiful girl in the red dress and pulled her out on the dance floor and was, was busting a move with her. And, of course, uh, Charlie, being the guy that he is, he, uh, he can't let me dance with a, another beautiful woman. So... He swooped in there and uh, and uh, did the old switcheroo with 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 Rachel and took took Rachel and, and they basically hit it off ever since. So it was it was awesome. What was your role? Your kind of uh, well, Rachel had invited me to a wedding with her, one of our coworkers. And so we were at her wedding, and we left, and um, we're walking by Patty's, and it looked kind of fun. So we just decided to go in. And all of a sudden, this big cowboy comes up and talks to Rachel, and then she is away. I hadn't seen her for a while. And later, I see another cowboy with a cowboy hat, and she was talking to him. Um, and then we went our separate ways. I didn't really see them doing anything except for something. And the next day, she tells me, oh, that cowboy, he's been, like, trying to text me, and 
like his cousin's looking us up on Facebook and blah, blah, blah. So um, that was that. And yeah, basically ever since she was totally smitten. Uh, I'm going to elaborate on that a little bit because uh, the, of course we're a little bit, uh, you know, not feeling well after a long night out. And Charlie and I, I slept over at Charlie's house and uh, in the morning when uh, we were just like sitting talking about our night, we both were like, oh, I met this, you know, nice, nice girl. And both of us at the same time were like, the girl in the red dress. And Charlie was like, yeah, I got her number, you know. And uh, from there we started, we started Googling her and trying to find out all the information we could. And uh, <laughs> Uh, there, wasn't we, we, there wasn't a lot, actually, and, and so we're like, okay, let's call Andy, uh, Charlie's brother, and uh, so we called Andy, and Andy, more tech savvy, couldn't, couldn't uh, actually find any information either, so we're like, okay, uh, let's just call her. So this was about 8.30, 9 in the morning, the, the next morning after, after they meet, and uh, uh, he calls her and, and she answers the phone and, and made Charlie the happiest guy ever. So. I love that. <laughs> okay, so how are you two feeling today? What are your emotions? Awesome. I'm so happy. The, um, they're, they're such different people, but they are just absolutely perfect together and they're just such a great example of like true love and happiness and it's so exciting. No one's nervous today. Not, there's no nerves or anything because everyone's just totally at ease. It's finally happening. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. It's uh, it's just it's such a wonderful event. Like, um, everyone smiles definitely. And uh, you know, Charlie. I, I mean, I, w I was talking with him earlier, and he's not nervous at all. Like he he's just so ready and 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 you know just wants to get it done and then relax even more and uh, he, he is just so happy so. And why do you think that they're good for each other? I know you kind of answered that. But. I, I think they're, they're great for each other because they, they complement each other. I think, um, you know, Char Charlie's more of the, uh, I think in my eyes, sometimes he's a little free and easygoing. But he's also the the guy what it, you know stresses about certain things, but those are the things that Rachel doesn't stress about, you know. And she's like, "Come on now!" So they, it's it's just fun to to watch them go back and forth on a lot of aspects, and uh, I just like that, you know, mentality. Yeah, yeah Rachel has just always kind of been. Um I mean, definitely not quiet, but she's just, I mean, maybe compared to some of our friends in our group, just a little bit more shy, and Charlie is not shy at <laughs> all, and um, just together, they just absolutely bring out the best in each other. Mm. I don't know how to describe it, but um, they're awesome, yeah. Um, what advice do you have for the couple? I would just, uh, I would say, live every day like it's your last, because someday it will be. So just uh, have fun with each other and love each other and, you know, take it day by day. <laughs> I would just say keep doing what you're doing because they're just so happy and so in love that I just, as long as they stay the same, they're just going to grow together and they'll, they'll be happy forever. Yeah. And for what do you think or how did you feel when you saw her in her dress today? Oh my gosh. Well, everyone else got to see her first because I was getting fake eyelashes put on and the lady was making me close my eyes. <laughs> and so everyone else, I could hear them crying like, I need tissues, you look so beautiful. So finally the lady let me open up my eyes and I ran over there and she is just stunning. I mean, Rachel is just like such a classic beauty anyways, but in this dress she just glows. It's just perfect. Absolutely. And one last question. What are you looking forward to most today? I, I'm <laughs> awesome. Yeah, I just, I mean, the wedding, um, you know, just seeing how happy they are together, um, especially after the, the ceremony and just being able to 
to relax and enjoy, you know, all the friends and family because everyone's here, you know, love them and they they love all all the people they invited, obviously, and just you know just having a good time together. I mean, it's it's going to be fantastic to see. It's going to be a wild party. It's yeah. going to be fun. Yeah. Be really fun. Uh, I'm feeling great. I'm excited. Charlie Charles got married. The ceremony was was quick and easy. I didn't forget the ring, so I'm feeling good. <laughs> good. Um, when was the first time you started hearing about Rachel? The first day after he met Rachel, after he met Red Dress. Red Dress. Red Dress. She Tell was wearing us about that. she was wearing a red dress, <laughs> and he was at Patty's. Had a big night out with with some guys, and and uh, Tommy, I think, actually initiated contact first. If I remember the story right. Tommy hits on her and gets around on the dance floor, and then Charlie swoops in and uh, and poaches Rachel away from Tommy. And Charlie's absolutely smitten with this girl. And the next day, he tells me, I don't think you remember her name, but he uh, tells me about this girl that was just absolutely dynamite that he met at Patty's that was wearing a red dress. So for the next couple of days, he was talking about red dress and and when he was going to go out with red dress again. And after the first date, then, then she got a name, and it was Rachel. Very cool. I love that. Um, let me see. Tell me about the first time you met Rachel. The first time I met Rachel... Why did I first meet Rachel? <laughs> if you can remember. <laughs> the first time I talked to Rachel was on the phone. Charlie had, Charlie had met her... I don't know, a month or so before, and uh, and met Red Dress, and then they'd gone on a few dates after that, and then Charlie came out to visit me in Charlottesville for Foxfield weekend, and the whole time he was texting and calling with uh, with this Red Dress, who was now called Rachel, and I mean he was he was head over heels for, her. and I remember we were walking, it was after Foxfield, the bus had dropped us off after a long day of drinking, and Charlie called her. And I remember we were walking through the parking lot at Darden, and, he, and I commandeered the phone from Char, and uh, had my first conversation with Rachel, and uh, and she was she was fun. She was like, "Listen, you guys better be having a whole lot of fun," and we were. So that was the first conversation. Um, how did you see your brother change as the relationship progressed? Well, Charlie was pretty smitten with her right from the start. I mean, I've never heard, I, I don't think I've ever gotten a call from Charlie the next day about some girl I met at a bar that, you know, he was so excited to take out the next day. I mean, there might, might be a small story in there or some, or about a girl that was interesting, but when he met Red Dress, it was like he was smitten from the start. When he, once he started dating her, it was, uh, it was full speed ahead. So uh, it, didn't, it didn't take long for Charlie to, to fall hard and fast. Uh, why do you think they're good for each other? They're they're actually great for each other. <laughs> a lot of reasons. Uh, Charlie is is um, uh, the guy's whimsical. He's up for anything. He's a total wild card. <laughs> and Rachel has a very easy disposition where she's she can roll with it. So, like Charlie's Charlie's impulsive and uh, adventurous. Adventurous in the positive way, Im- impulsive on maybe the other, there's another way to look at it on the other end of the spectrum. And Rachel's rolls with everything. She she's awesome. She's fun. She's game for anything, and she helps to even him out a little bit. Um, what are you looking forward to most today? I'm looking forward to getting up there, giving a toast to Charlie and Rachel, uh, grilling him a little bit, and then being heartfelt and telling them both how much I love them. And what advice do you have for the couple? Oh, I would say, you know, best advice I have is, is you know, advice I've heard, you know, other, uh, from, from people I really respect, gift other people who are getting married, and that's to keep Christ at the center of lives. There's a lot of things that can go wrong in marriage, they'll have a lot of trials and tribulations, and they need to keep the Lord at the center.